Hey everybody, I just want to do a, a quick follow-up. About a year and change ago, I did a quick, really, really short video about how I bought one of the uh, Boss Katana 50s and that I thought it was a really good amp and everything. But now that I've had a year to sit with it and go through it, and we've used it at various kinds of shows and various kinds of venues and various size events, I just want to give you uh, a follow-up to the original video. So uh, here we go. To give you some backstory, I had always used a Fender Stage 112 SE, which was a great amp, and I still own it, but I, I wanted to retire her. She was so dear and beloved to me that I got tired of dragging her in and out of bars and in and out of, you know, wherever we were playing. So I just didn't want her to, to, to get banged up anymore, you know, it was always my favorite amp of all time, so I kind of retired it from any kind of active use, and I went out and I looked for another amp to replace it, and I bought off of a guy in a church band, of all things, a uh, really sweet guy, by the way, it was really cool. I got a old PV Bandit Red Stripe, and I was using that for a while, and it was more than capable of doing all the shows that we were doing, you know, it sounded fine. But after a couple of years, that thing, it just, when I say it went up in smoke, I mean it literally went up in smoke. The only time in my lifetime I've ever had a, uh, a uh, solid state amp crap out on me, and uh, I still want to get it repaired, but she she died to say the least and, and again I'm, I'm a big solid state guy I'm a huge solid state fan I've, I've always used solid state amps they're lighter they're more affordable they're way reliable and if you can think anybody can tell the difference between a solid state or a tube when you're playing in clubs or concert halls or whatever it no so I'm just saying I've always been a solid state guy so when she died during a rehearsal one day I needed an amp really really quick simply because we had a gig coming up, and I and I and I had to have something. And I had heard so much online and so many different things about the Boss Katana 50. I said, you know what? I'm going to run to the local guitar center. You know, throw down. I think it was like 215 bucks, right? Grab one of these things. I need it for this weekend. You know, we got to go. So I, I took it home and I fiddled with it, and I I took it to a rehearsal, and I got a couple of sounds that I really liked, and we took it out and and we used it and. It played and sounded great. It was light, it was easy to carry. Uh, everything passed with flying colors in my neck of the woods. So what I'm gonna kinda do right now is give you a sum up of what's happened since then. Now it's a year later. I have used that amp at every rehearsal. I have used that amp at various small gigs. I mean, the bar gigs, and you know how bar gigs go, go pardon me. Uh, you're going to get a PA system that's basically just for the vocals. If you're lucky, the guy's going to throw a mic on the, the kick drum or some crap like that. And you're off and running. Basically, you're going to need an amp that can keep up with the volume. You're going to play to the volume of the drummer. That's literally what you're going to do. And Crimson Tips, uh, our drummer, John, he's a heavy-handed drummer. I mean, he's really banging. He's not, you know, he's not playing lightly. He's, he's very close to a Dave Grohlish type drummer. So when we play with him, we need something that can cover it. And in all the shows and all the rehearsals we've ever done, it, that amp has easily held up with ease to the volume of the drummer, unmiked, on anything, just playing straight out into the crowd. It's handled it, it's lit the bar up plenty a loud, it's done its job, it's sounded great. Uh, does it have, if you, now keep in mind these amps have a small footprint, they don't have a giant wooden cabinet around that single 12 inch speaker. So, does it have a lot of maybe some of the bassiness that a larger amp would have, some of the airiness that a larger amp would have with a bigger housing? No, but that's why you got a bass guitar player, folks. I hate you know that's why he's there. This thing easily keeps up with uh, John on drums and Kyle, our bass player. He plays with a very distorted, rattly, low, heavy, brutal sound, very uh, Doug Pennish from Doug Pennick from King's Exodus type thing. So for this amp to keep up with those guys in a live setting, to me, really says something about it. We've also used this amp in some of the largest concert hall venues that our area has. We're talking Albany, New York. So we have some larger concert halls around here, you know, thousand seaters and upper. And when I brought that thing into those places, I got to tell you, and I kid you not, the sound man actually looked at it and he said, thank you. And I was like, what? What's going on? He goes, I love these things. He goes, they're a dream to set up. They're consistent, blah, blah, blah. He goes, you know, he literally put a mic on it. He knew he was ready to go. The stage volume that I had this thing at was actually so low. I didn't even have it on the 50-watt setting. I had it dialed down to the 25-watt setting. 
and I mean the thing was at like one quarter up on that when you hear it through the PA system it just sounded amazing so he that I'm telling you I've had sound guys the pro level sound guys gush over these things they tell me they love when they see them come through the door the one gig we had we had to literally uh, yeah, the, the load-in situation was a thing to behold because the the venue doesn't really have a it has a load in place for the bands but they don't want you to park there so you're literally flying out of cars with stuff and I was able to carry two guitars uh, a bag of cables and crap and literally the boss 50 and walk about a hundred yards so that I could get into back door of this joint and it was no sweat whatsoever the portability of this thing and the sound you get is just ridiculous for the for the stage footprint it takes up for the weight of the thing it, it's it's like almost like a no-brainer it's like a win-win-win so I guess I'm just giving the amp more rave reviews than I did a year ago but just to fill in I've had not a hiccup out of this amp I've had not a burp out of it I mean it's just worked phenomenal in every venue every setting loud enough to go unmiked in a bar sounds phenomenal when put through a giant PA system in in your larger venues it's just been a win-win and for 215 bucks it's kind of ridiculous really I mean you almost can't go wrong with the thing uh, we use it in, in I've used it every rehearsal and we play loud at rehearsal I mean we don't neck it down I mean we've got earplugs in and shooting things over our ears to keep it you know because John plays loud or the drummer we have a loud drummer and he is very loud and we have to go over that so everything is just ramped up and are you know we're layered in uh, things of hearing protection and it easily keeps up down in there it keeps up in the bars it keeps up on the large stages it, it's just been phenomenal now the thing that you have to know if you're getting the 50 watt especially because the 50 watt only has two channels for somebody like me that's fine I play in a very simplistic way I uh, I have my distortion channel my regular channel I'm just running distortion on it and then as channel 2 I literally only have uh, delay on it so it's distortion and distortion with delay if I want to neck down the distortion I can just roll the volume down and it does it fine the amp handles it fine again if you want to take out a pedal board with you and plug it into the into the thing you can go ballistic with you know it just it, it'll work like any other amp it takes pedals fine what I went and did was I wanted to use just so I had less to carry I didn't want to take a pedal board anymore I didn't want to do anything I said I just want to amp I just want a couple guitars and I just want to go right and literally so I went out and I bought the uh, foot switch for it which is the boss F FS 5L whatever the hell it is uh, it works great I've had it for I don't know the, the right bought when I bought the amp so the the foot pedal works amazing I still got the original battery in it to operate the LED and it's still working and, and going fine after all this time so uh, and I can't remember what I paid for that I, I think it was like I don't know 20 30 bucks whatever the hell it was but uh, literally the foot I mean I can and the and here and here's one other thing as you know whether you're uh, you're headlining and you're loading up really fast or you're opening or playing in the middle and you have to load up fast and get off really fast the amount of time that you have to get up or off stage is so limited and you know you don't want to be one of those bands that like drags ass and pisses off the bands behind you, you want to be respectful to everybody and you want to do your job I can literally be on a stage and set up with this setup in about three minutes and I could three or four and I can be off in even less I mean I throw a guitar in a gig bag or a case the other one usually stays there and I just go I grab that amp I throw this pedal in the back of it I grab the two cables bam and I am out of there in like 90 seconds I'm not kidding you literally about 90 seconds I'm off the stage so whoever's loading up next can get get up there and do their gig and have a great time Guess what I'm trying to say folks all in all is this amp has just been a champ and a winner all the way around for me so I love the little thing uh, I, I, I adore it I, I might actually buy a second one just in case this thing ever like you know somebody runs it over while I have it sitting next to a car or something I have another one on hand it's just a great amp a great buy I'm not an ass kisser I'm not here to blow smoke up you know bosses ass or something like that and and get some kind of brownie points I don't care about that and you know I don't I'm 
I'm not one of those monetized YouTube. I, I'm not. You know what I mean? So this is just an honest, straightforward opinion. If you got it, great. If you're looking for something that can do the job and not break your back, and believe me, I'm not a kid anymore. So hauling around, you know, you know 50 pound mega, it's just, it's not an option. So go out there, take a look at it and give it serious thought amongst the other things. There's other amps now that have come along the lines that are kind of in the similar vein that can kind of roll with it. And, you know, give them all a shot. Check out what works for you and what you like. But for me, the Boss Katana 50, the simple two-channel setup, the simple foot switch thrown in the back of the amp, I'm here, I'm gone, has done wonders. And again, we're a heavy band, and they can play and keep up with playing heavy music. So God bless everybody. Have a good time. Make all your dreams come true. Get out there, rock out, and do what you do best. Peace, love, and happiness. Bye.